Brooklyn Nets. Let's stay here for a second. So, so the Brooklyn Nets are an interesting team uh, going to this trade deadline solely because of the. There's a lot going on with this team, uh, with the with the the what eight game losing streak, uh, nine game losing streak at this point. Um, Kyrie's still a part time player. Uh, Kevin Durant's hurt, and one of the biggest reasons why they are one of the teams to look out for for the trade deadline is because of James Harden. Now, James Harden has expressed his 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 frustration with being in Brooklyn and a lot of speculations have been flying between you know he's going to test free agency and a lot of speculations have been flying about should they trade and should there be a James Harden for Ben Simmons trade um I do think it'll be beneficial for both teams I also think that um the 76ers would be more of a winner than the Brooklyn Nets in this situation uh, but now reports have come out saying, you know, Brooklyn's not going to trade James Harden. Uh, but then it, it keeps being like, all right, we're going to trade him. We're not going to trade him. We'll trade. I don't know what's going to happen with this. I mean, Brooke, the, 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 the problem with this whole situation for Brooklyn is yes, you have, you know, James Harden. Yes, you have Kyrie Irving in times. Yes, you have, when he gets back from injury, Kevin Durant. But what else do you really have from that? Paul Millsap hasn't really worked. Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge hasn't really been working, and he's been injured. Joe Harris has been injured. Blake Griffin is just a complete shell of him of his former self. Um, so, yes, you may have James Harden, uh, Kevin Durant, and Kyrie Irving, but outside of that, what do you have? And this is one of the biggest reasons why I said before the year started, it may be beneficial to trade a Kyrie or maybe beneficial to trade a James Harden because you don't have a defender on your best defender is is who Bruce Brown, uh, uh, Claxton, which is which he's a he's a decent um, rim protector that is Claxton, but you don't have another real solid defender. I mean, you're you're it, it just doesn't work. And I if I were Brooklyn you have a player that is is has already said he's going to test for agency you've already you have a player that's already said that he is unhappy with the situation and that he's in as far as being in Brooklyn so I instead of losing James Harden for nothing if you do lose him uh I would I would make the trade I mean think about it even though Ben Simmons has not played this year due to I guess his feelings being hurt. <laughs> uh, you still have a player that you'll have on contract for at least three more years. At least. And you're taking him out of a situation where he, he doesn't have to be the uh, primary ball handler. You have Kyrie Irving. You have Kevin Durant. He doesn't have to be the primary playmaker. You have Kevin Durant. You have Kyrie Irving. He can really be, he can be kind of like an Andrew Wiggins type situation. Andrew Wiggins was good for Minnesota. If no, for former number one overall pick, uh, he was good in, in, in Minnesota. He was good next to Carl Anthony Towns. The only problem was he was expected to do more because it was just pretty much a two-man team. He was expected to be that number one overall pick. He was expected to be the best player on the floor every night, and he just could not live up to that. You see how – hell, he's an all-star now. You see how good Andrew Wiggins is playing in Golden State where not only is he not the number one – I mean, not the the first option. He's not even – he's probably the third or fourth option when uh, Draymond Green gets back. Now – Ben Simmons would not be the th fourth option, but Ben Simmons would be the third option to a <laughs> when your first two options is Kevin Durant and 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 Kyrie Irving. Now, again, I understand the uh, uh, intrigue is there to keep James Harden because he's one of the best when he's on his game. He's one of the best scores the league has ever seen. 
However, when you look at the construct and the makeup of this team, you have a lot of players. Your top three players do the same thing. Now, of course, Kevin Durant to me is the best. Then you have James Harden when he's on. Then you have Kyrie. But you have three players that do the same thing, and then you really don't have any other player to – when you need the big stop, who do you go to? When you need a a, a, a momentum-shifting block or a momentum-shifting steal, who do you go to? You don't really have that. Uh, and So if I were Brooklyn, I would, I would be – I would think hard – about being a seller. And when I say seller, I mean, I would, I have, I understand that, you know, he's be their best friends as far as Kevin Durant and, and, and James Harden. And I understand that you just got him. So you want to make this work, but it hasn't now. I'm not gonna say it hasn't worked because of James Harden. I mean, you know, Kevin Durant's not there. Joe Harris isn't there. L LaMarcus Aldridge is not the lineup. Uh, Kyrie Irving's in not the lineup due to, you know, the COVID situation thing. So I understand that it's not just James Harden, but it has not been working up to here. And hell, even James Harden has come out and said that I'm not a, I'm not happy. So I would be buyers. I mean, I would be sellers into trading James Harden, not because he's just a bad player, but because you're getting you could op, you could get uh, you can get now I understand Ben Simmons has not played, but you can get a Ben Simmons for at least three years. And it's not like Ben Simmons is out due to injury. He's just out because his feelings are hurt, which is crazy still in my opinion. But I would still consider that because you have him for three more years and you don't need him in the same role that uh, that Philly has him in or had him in. So if I was Brooklyn, I would be uh, I would be I would be sellers. I would be seller. I would think wrong and hard about uh, being a seller with James Harden.